What religion was Jesus? Hmm. Now think about that for a moment. What religion was Jesus? You know, Tiz and I are writing a book right now yeah. on seven prophecies concerning the latter reign, the Messiah, yes. Israel, and you. Yeah. Your answer to that question, what religion was mm -hmm. Jesus, will tell us blessings or curses. It's up to you. Stay with us. We're going to show you yep. to release the end time yes. blessing in your life. Yep. You know, as I said, Tiz and I are writing a book and we're, we're dealing with seven prophecies. Yes. Amazing Bible amazing. prophecies that are alive right now. Yeah. Now, the reason why we're writing this book is for two main reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, these prophecies, when we understand them, will bring the coming of the Messiah. Yes. The second thing is that it, in the church, it's really drawing a line. You're going to yeah. see in a minute. It's really drawing the line between blessings yeah. and curses. Now yes. think about this. Yeah. Yeah. God said, God says, now, and we've heard this so many times, Tis, sometimes it becomes just you know, a mantra. Right. God says, I place before mm. you, yeah. before you, yep. there are blessings yes. and there are curses. Now, even if we love Jesus, yeah. even if we're born again, even if we're, we're a Jew in the synagogue serving God, right. Even if we understand the seven places that Jesus shed his blood, yeah. most Christians, most Christians yeah. are living under a spiritual yes. generational curse That's because right. of what their fathers, not their yes. earthly fathers necessarily, right. but what our spiritual fathers yeah. have taught us. Now, remember this, and I want, I want you to share in a, in a moment some of the statistics mm that proved the prophecy. I think yeah. it's in, I think it's in Zechariah right, right. that says anti-Semitism yeah. is going to abound yep. right before the coming of the Messiah. Anti-Semitism. Yeah. Right. Now nobody would get up, right. most people wouldn't get up, some would, and say those Jews, mm -hmm. th because it would be politically incorrect, incorrect yeah. to say, I don't like the Jews. Right. The, the, the new anti-Semitism is not speaking against the Jews. It's speaking against the nation of Israel. Right. But what you've got to understand with all the BDS, which mm. is boycott, divestment, and sanction, with, with all the um, Israels occupying the yeah. Palestinian land, all false teachings, yes. anti-Semitism against Jews yeah. are skyrocketing Absolutely. more now. This is a yeah. bizarre statement. Yeah. And the reason I'm teaching this is that we can innocently be under a curse. Yeah. But there's more anti-Semitism yeah. now yes. in the world than there was during the time of Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Just read a few of these stats, yeah. and then I want to get into generational curses. So in Europe, the anti-Semitic assaults have increased 70% in the last couple years. 70%. 70%. In America, where we think, oh, you know, this doesn't affect us. In New York City, out of the... 164 hate crimes in New York City. 110 of them were against Jews. Amazing. That amazing. is amazing. Unfortunately, it's so sad, but we're seeing synagogues attacked. And in the in, just here in America, the Tree of Life Synagogue massacre in Pittsburgh and the Chabad Synagogue in Poway, California, were young men professing to be Christians and they said they wanted to kill as many Jews Professing as to possible. be Christians. Right, and they said, I am a Christian. I blame all Jews for the murder of Jesus, and I want to kill as many Jews as possible. Right. Now, this is an extreme situation, but that anti-Semitic rhetoric is out there, and it's escalating, and it's heating things up, and it's becoming, on our campuses, a normal thing to be anti-Semitic and to attack the Jews. A friend of ours in, was in a place in Europe 
and he was walking a block from his hotel yeah. to the synagogue on Friday night for Shabbat. And he's walking the corner. The synagogue had security on the streets. And this man, this Jewish man, looks at Josh and says, "Yeah." and he says, what? And he goes, kippah. And he goes, no, I've got my kippah on. He goes, yeah. take it off. Yeah. It's not safe to have it on. Another friend of ours was riding on a train. Yeah. And they told him, you cannot wear in public right. a kippah right. because of the attacks. I yes. was in, we were in Paris one time teaching in a church, which by the way, was the largest Christian church in Paris. And that church does not exist anymore mm. because of the anti-Christian, anti-Semitic uh, rhetoric that's in that neighborhood. You, it's gone. The church is gone. Yeah. And we're, I was talking to this friend of ours in a shop uh, right outside the Louvre, and I was talking in Hebrew. So I was asking, what, what do you think the price of this is? And the little girl said, do you, are you Jews? And she told us the, yeah. the horrific assault that they go through yeah. as just for being a Jew, yes. all the way from stealing and, and yeah. beating up to murder. Yep. Anti-Semitism is alive everywhere in the world. Yes. But listen to this. Where did this anti-Semitism come from and why is it still alive? Right. You go all the way back to 325 years after the birthing of right. the church. Right. 325 years after Jesus rose from the dead, in the council of Nicaea, the, yeah. con the emperor uh, Constantine had a meeting because now yeah. the church is out of Jerusalem. Right. Most of the leaders are now Gentiles. Yeah. And they decided, how can we turn those who are following the teachings of Christ, how can we turn them away from Jerusalem and have their worship centered in Europe. Yeah. And they said, let's come up with the doctrine. And here's the two doctrines. Number one, let's blame the Jews for killing Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now listen to why I'm telling you this. Number two, let's teach that God is done with the Jews and we're the new Israel. The church right. is the new Israel. There is nowhere in the Bible, but listen to this. Why is this prophetically important? All of these seven prophecies go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. The Avos, the father right. of all curses yep. and the father of all lie, uh, yeah. of all blessings. Yeah. Listen to this. In Genesis 12, I know you've heard it, but hear what I'm saying. God, who is Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sitkanu, Jehovah yes. Mekadesh, Jehovah Shalom. Yes. God, who is the, the author of every one of your blessings, says these words concerning Israel and the Jewish people. He said, I mm -hmm. will bless those who bless you. Yes. Now, I don't have time to get into this right now, but in Hebrew, a blessing is, is the trigger. A blessing is the trigger of spiritual energy and mm. power mm. that is way beyond us. Mm. Let me say that again. A blessing. God said, I will bless those who bless Israel. You're ready for God to shoot the blessings into mm. your life and yeah. shoot prosperity in your life. The trigger to that is the blessing from God. Mm -hmm. God said, I will bless those tis yes. who bless Israel, yes. Yes. but I will block that trigger. Ooh. I will unload that blessing gun and I will curse those who curse Israel. Wow. Have you ever said, we're the new Israel? Have you ever said we've replaced Israel? Have you ever said the Jews blame oh, yeah. the Jews oh. for killing Jesus? Wow. Have you ever said that? Then the trigger is blocked and the blessing is held back. Now, Ooh. we're going to take a break and I'm going to show you how teachings from generations will bring you generational curses, but today it's time to break the curse yes. and release general yes. Uh, generational blessings. Yes. Now, we've got a couple gifts. I just want to talk about them real quick. We've got a, a taping, a teaching that I have on reversing the curse of anti-Semitism. And then we have this, this unbelievably so awesome. beautiful wall plaque. And as the announcer is going to show you, it is a menorah, it is a star of David, and it is a fish. The menorah, the sign of Judaism, the fish, the sign of Christianity. Now watch this. When you separate them, yeah, when you separate them, it's just the base of the menorah and it's the tail of the fish. But when you bring them back into unity, 
<laughs> Ephesians chapter two, yep. the one new man That's that right. will launch not only the Messiah, but it will launch every end time blessing into yes. your life. When you bring the Jew and the Gentile together, it makes the star of David. The blessing is yes. about to be released Amen. in your life. Anti-Semitism is on the rise around the globe and in fact is considered worse now than it was during Hitler's Nazi regime. Christians must make a stand now for our Jewish brothers and sisters who are being persecuted more than ever before. This is why your support of Project Aliyah is so important. Together, we are saving Jewish lives from anti-Semitism and providing the airfare, immigration costs, and initial living expenses to help them experience a new beginning in their ancient homeland, Israel. With your gift of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending Pastor Larry's timely message, Reversing the Curse of Anti-Semitism. This two CD audio series will educate you on the dangers Jews face today and inspire you to help stand against this hatred for God's chosen people. With your offering of $100, we also want you to have this stainless steel roots necklace, symbolizing the ancient connection that God always intended between Jews and Christians. It's a fantastic witnessing tool that boldly declares the prophecy of the one new man. With your offering of $375 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we will include this beautifully woven roots throw. It's a four by five foot Afghan with the same roots symbol as the necklace and displays God's special promise written in Hebrew from Genesis 12, three. I will bless those who bless you. Your generous gift today of at least $750 will fund the average cost to bring one person home to Israel. To say thank you, we'll send you all of the products already mentioned and add this stunning Metal Roots artwork created specifically for Larry Huck Ministry Partners. Each piece is handcrafted by renowned artist Patrick Newworth and will make a dramatic statement of your love for Israel, the Jewish people, and the Jewish roots of our Christian faith. And now, here's a special offer for first-time donors to our ministry. You know, in my opinion, one of the greatest teachings God ever gave me is to teach you the understanding of the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. What did a Jewish yes. Jesus mean when he said, Our Father? What did yes. he mean when he said, Hallow it, holy is your name? Mm. This prayer will change your life. Yeah. It changed ours. Yep. And that's why we want to give this to you as a gift for every yes. first time partner. We want to say thank you and we want to be a blessing back into your yes. life through the name of Jesus. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and play a role in reversing the curse of anti-Semitism while supporting one of the greatest charitable projects you could ever take part in. You are saving Jewish lives, fulfilling biblical prophecy, and positioning yourself to receive God's abundant blessing. Our helpful operators are standing by right now to help you. So please call us now at 800-978-8546. If you prefer to give online, simply go to our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and choose your level of giving. Or you can always mail your gift of support to the ministry address on this screen. Please accept our sincerest thanks for whatever size gift you're able to sow. Together we are fulfilling biblical prophecy and standing with the Jewish people against hate, persecution, and anti-Semitism. Thank you so much for your faithful support. We look forward to hearing from you today. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, none of us, or I hope none of us would ever get up and say, well, those Jews, but we're allowing people to speak against yeah. Israel, against the nation of Israel. We're, we're allowing the, the thing of let's boycott and divestment and sanction yes. Israeli products. Let's bankrupt Israel. And I said this, I think right. a couple of weeks ago, Tiz, that this, this economic attack against yeah. the Jews didn't originate last year. No. It originated with Hitler exactly. on Crystal Knock when, yep. they, when they boycotted. This is the same, same anti-Semitic curse yep. that unfortunately the church has just sat back and allowed it to happen. Exactly. You know, the Bible says he that knows to do right yes. and does not 
to him that's sin. Yes. In Hebrew, ancient Jewish wisdom says silence. Yeah. When we know to speak out and yeah. we don't, silence is the same as heresy. Ooh. And so this, this curse Ooh. that started 325 years after the birth of right. Jesus of blaming the Jews. Yes. Listen, you're there. You love Jesus. You're born again or, or, or you're, 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 you love God. You, you, you love everybody. But this curse of anti-Semitism, yeah. you didn't earn it. It's been right. passed on to you generation right. after right. generation. You know, we say this all the time, Larry, that my people are destroyed for their lack of for knowledge. For their lack of knowledge. And so in these areas, so often people are losing by default yeah. in their lives because they don't even understand the warfare that's going on. And we've taught this in our own personal lives for years about breaking generational Absolutely. curses. Absolutely. But talk about how this applies yeah. to this situation right now. Yeah, and the reason we're teaching this is, guys, you are right at the threshold of the greatest outpouring of God's yes. blessing and, and power, Absolutely. signs and wonders yes. and miracles, the end time transfer yes. of wealth. It's right there. Amen. But this curse of anti-Semitism yeah. is a generational curse. You know, we, we, we taught years ago, and this is how I learned it. Years ago, I was when I was pastor, we were pastoring our third church. Everybody knows that God delivered me of drugs right. and, and, and addiction has been in my family for generations. Right. But the spirit of anger, and I yeah. said these words, I'm just like my father. I mm -hmm. grabbed Luke, he was a baby, and shoved him and I said, I'm just like my father. Yeah. And then I, it, it dawned on me, the saying, like father, like son. Yeah. So I went and looked that up yeah. and does it talk about generational curses? Well, right. it talks about it over 320 times yeah. that what's inside of a father yes. is passed, passed on, on generation to generation. Yes. The Bible says the iniquity of the yes. father. In Hebrew, I know I'm giving you a lot. In Hebrew, everything God teaches has the physical and the spiritual, yeah. the heavenly and the earthly. We know, well, you're just like your dad or you're just like your right. mom. That's the earthly. But we also have spiritual fathers yes. and many of us, most, 99% of yeah. Christians have inherited this right. generational curse since, since the time of Constantine. Right, and, and let me mention this before you teach on that, is that at the point we learned that in our personal lives, We'd been in the ministry 15 years. Long time. So we knew how to operate in the ministry. We, we loved God with right. all our heart, but still we were functioning under a curse under that a we curse. didn't even understand. We, we love God, we believe the word of God, but we never saw the blessings. Right. And that's why we're teaching right. this to you. So you see the blessings. So let me share with you, we understand generational curses. The, the, the iniquity, what's inside is passed down generation yes. after generation. Yes. But the blessing is also yes. passed down. So the key today is break the curse yeah. and release the blessing. Now Amen. listen to this. The word, and I'm just going to give you this real quick, and we'll, we'll, do, we'll do more of it in the book. The word generation in Hebrew is the word door, D-O-R. Mm. And it doesn't mean a, like, a, a physical measurement. Well, that's 50 years of the generation and 50 more years. Mm -hmm. When the Bible talks about a generation, it's a spiritual measurement of what continues wow. generation. Let me say that wow. again. It's wow. not a physical 50-year wow. generation, 80-year generation. It's a spiritual measurement hmm. of what is continuing wow. and either it's continuing in blessing yeah. or it's continuing in curse. Wow. Now listen to this. Wow. The Hebrew word for generation is door. And I won't get into all the, next week I'll get into numerology and what all the numbers mean and, and the blessing is mm, double blessing yeah. when you see this. Yeah. But let me show you this. There, there are ways to study the Hebrew that are not in any other language, not in English, right, Italian, right, and French. Right. When you take the Hebrew word door, mm -hmm. which means generational continuancy, it's a growing, it's a growing should be of blessing. Continuity. When you reverse that, the word road, R-O-D, the reverse of door means a decline. Oh. So Whoa. in your life, Whoa. let's take with replacement theology, wow. anti-Semitism, uh, the Jews killed Jesus. If you're against that and you speak against that and you That's help with insane. Aliyah and you help with the Holocaust, then the blessing is growing. Yes. If you're 
still speaking against Israel and they occupy the land and BDS, then your blessing has reversed and it's declining. Now wow. listen to this. God wow. says in Genesis 12, I will bless those who bless you yeah. and I will curse those who curse you. In Hebrew, there is no stagnation. Right. You're either blessing or you're cursing. You're mm. either growing in blessing or wow. you're, or you're declining in the curse. Right. There is no middle ground. Right. So how do we break this curse that the church has brought on? Mm. You know, we, I, I spoke and just came to me, I spoke in Brazil several years ago and these Catholic priests from the Vatican right, came right. and we talked to them about the teachings of anti-Semitism in the church. Right. One priest said, I prayed and I said, God, what is, how, what, how would you describe yeah. the anti-Semitism that we mm. taught from the church? And he said, God gave me a word. It's a cancer. Mm. It's a cancer mm. that's still growing wow. in the body of Christ. Maybe you're not like that wow. pastor that just got on YouTube and had his church stand and renounce Israel and renounce standing with Israel. Oof. Maybe you're not the kind of guy that would get up there and, wow. and say, we need to throw the Jews out of Israel. Israel doesn't, the Jews don't right, deserve their right. land, even though the word of God says it. Maybe you would never do that. But are you blessing Israel? Right. Remember, there is no spiritual middle ground. Yeah. You are either cursing Israel. Right. And silence is the same as heresy, right. or you are blessing Israel. Right, I right. place before you life or death, yeah. blessings and curses. Mm. This is why we wow. do what we do in Israel, yes. because the word of God says, mm. the land of Israel yep. belongs to the Jewish people. Yes. And the word of God says, I will bless those who bless yes. Israel. Yes. You need to be a part of the blessing. Amen. We're gonna come back, we're gonna pray, yep. and we're gonna break the curse. Yep. The way you break the curse is you, you admit and confess right. your, your sin, yeah. but then we do something right. to release the blessing. Yes. Remember, a blessing is a trigger right. that releases a spiritual energy mm -hmm. that is far greater than we Amen. are. Get ready. We're going to reverse yep. the curse, That's right. and God's about to shoot the starting yes. gun for you to begin Amen. the long journey into your blessing. We'll be right back. Anti-Semitism is on the rise around the globe and in fact is considered worse now than it was during Hitler's Nazi regime. Christians must make a stand now for our Jewish brothers and sisters who are being persecuted more than ever before. This is why your support of Project Aliyah is so important. Together, we are saving Jewish lives from anti-Semitism and providing the airfare, immigration costs, and initial living expenses to help them experience a new beginning in their ancient homeland, Israel. With your gift of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending Pastor Larry's timely message, reversing the curse of anti-Semitism. This two CD audio series will educate you on the dangers Jews face today and inspire you to help stand against this hatred for God's chosen people. With your offering of $100, we also want you to have this stainless steel roots necklace, symbolizing the ancient connection that God always intended between Jews and Christians. It's a fantastic witnessing tool that boldly declares the prophecy of the one new man. With your offering of $375 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we will include this beautifully woven roots throw. It's a four by five foot Afghan with the same roots symbol as the necklace and displays God's special promise written in Hebrew from Genesis 12, three. I will bless those who bless you. Your generous gift today of at least $750 will fund the average cost to bring one person home to Israel. To say thank you, we'll send you all of the products already mentioned and add this stunning Metal Roots artwork created specifically for Larry Huck Ministry Partners. Each piece is handcrafted by renowned artist Patrick Newworth and will make a dramatic statement of your love for Israel, the Jewish people, and the Jewish roots of our Christian faith. And now, here's a special offer for first-time donors to our ministry. You know, in my opinion, one of the greatest teachings God ever gave me is to teach you the understanding of the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. 
What did a Jewish yes. Jesus mean when he said, our father? What did yes. he mean when he said, hallowed, holy is your name? Mm. This prayer will change your life. Yeah. It changed ours. Yep. And that's why we want to give this to you as a gift for every yes. first time partner. We want to say thank you. And we want to be a blessing back into your yes. life through the name of Jesus. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and play a role in reversing the curse of anti-Semitism while supporting one of the greatest charitable projects you could ever take part in. You are saving Jewish lives, fulfilling biblical prophecy, and positioning yourself to receive God's abundant blessing. Our helpful operators are standing by right now to help you. So please call us now at 800-978-8546. If you prefer to give online, simply go to our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and choose your level of giving. Or you can always mail your gift of support to the ministry address on the screen. Please accept our sincerest thanks for whatever size gift you're able to sow. Together we are fulfilling biblical prophecy and standing with the Jewish people against hate persecution and anti-Semitism. Thank you so much for your faithful support. We look forward to hearing from you today. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. How many television, Christian television programs did you know that teach on defeating the spirit of anti-Semitism? Why would we do that? Why? Well, yeah. number one, it's in the word of God. Number yep. one, it's number two, it's the will of God. Yep. But number three, it's what's blocking your right. blessing. Right. Remember, God said, I will. Listen to this. Amen. God's sitting before you. Mm. What blessings do you need? And he will do exceedingly abundantly Absolutely. above anything yes. you can ask yes. or think. You love God, Absolutely. you live holy, you serve God. Yep. But but we, we are fed this anti-Semitic teaching right. And it's not enough to say, well, I don't believe it. You got to do something. Yep. You've got to yep. confess, break the curse, and then release the Amen. blessing. You know, when we get back, when we come back tomorrow, I'll, I'll remind me, I want to teach on that. You got to kill the seed yeah. before you can get the harvest. Right. Let's kill that seed right Amen. now. Come in agreement. Just yes. say this after me. Say, Father, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I repent oh, for listening are speaking anything that would be against Israel and the Jewish people. And I determine in my life yep. to release and receive the blessing of God. Mm. I will do whatever you tell me to do. Yep. And I will say whatever you tell me yep. to say. I won't worry about what man thinks. Right. I only care right. about what you think. Yes. I break the curse yes. of anti-Semitism, of replacement, e e Theology. theology and I stand with yes. the nation of Israel and I will help Pastor Larry and Tiz yep. bring Jews back to yes. the land of Israel. Amen. Think about that. A 2,000 year curse Woo. that's been blocking your blessing yes. is now broken Amen. and the blessing has been that's released. Right. You know, one of the words for blessing is the knee. I'm going to show you how to run mm -hmm. in the blessing of God tomorrow. I'm Larry. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. Love you. We'll see you Thank tomorrow. Bye-bye.